Hey everyone and welcome back to Chit Chat Chris. So today I'm going to do something different. I'm not going to do a review or a box unveiling. I'm actually going to do a makeup challenge um, and it is the one or the Dollar Tree makeup challenge. Now normally I start with my face first or my eyeshadow but today I'm going to start with since I'm starting with my eyes. Um, this time I got false lashes which I don't normally wear because I don't have any um, and because I'm starting with the false lashes, I've already opened them and prepped them and I'm about to put them on. But they are the Wet n Wild Shredding the Fringe Lashes. And they come with the glue. Excuse me, my nose itches. Um, but I'm going to turn my camera off for this part. Um, just because it might take a little longer and even speeding through it like I do, it might make the video too long. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I got the false lashes on, and it's amazing what false lashes can do because I've never had eyelashes even half this long, and they do look natural. They'll look even more natural once we um cover them up here. So let's go ahead and get started on the eyeshadow. So I've already opened this because this is my second attempt at the video. But I have already taken the eyeshadow out of the package. Um, it is the LA Colors eyeshadow. And because my Dollar Tree didn't have any makeup brushes, I'm going back to my basic makeup brush kit. This is the first one that I ever bought. Um, and then I did add in my e.l.f. contour one that I bought years ago as well. So these were my original brushes, so I wanted to make it somewhat fair because most Dollar Trees and most of these tutorials or challenges had brushes and I didn't. So we're going to go ahead and start with the eyeshadow. Um, we're going to use, I want to make sure it's a color I can see. Um, we'll try this one. I tried it uh, when I tried to do this video over. I'm just going to use a different brush because it didn't show up then. So I'm going to use this brush, more like a concealer brush, but now I'm going to use it for my eyeshadow. Alright, there we go. I'm just going to hit this with a little of the glue real quick. I had trouble putting this one on because my eye was twitching on me. Now the one thing I didn't get also was the eyelash curler. I'll go back in with mine later and hit up that. But now that I got this base color on my eye, it's kind of light, but I wanted it to be. We're going to go in with a bigger eyelash brush. And we're going to do the crease color. And last time I did this one, but it didn't pick up too well. So I'm going to do this one. All right, hopefully that stays down. So now I'm going to go in with the dark color with the first brush that I used again and put it in the V in the I. And we're going to go with the dark brown here, kind of match somewhat to the eyeliner that I got. Okay, so it went on kind of patchy with that, but it did go on. And now we're just going to take this, kind of flick off all the... Um, eyeshadow that's already on it and use it to blend it out. Okay, there we go. Now what we're going to do is come in with the eyeliner and I got the LA Looks or LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner and this one I got in brown. Um, I usually use black but since I'm using mostly brownish makeup doing more of a neutral look today I decided to go with brown. Now I'm not going to do a full wing, but I am going to do a little bit of one, just to make my eyes really pop with these lashes. Alright, now I'm going to use my eyebrow brush 
just to kind of blend out the bottom a little bit where I've got some eyeliner. All right, so that is done. Now we're gonna go ahead and start on our face. And I got the foundation for this one. I'm just gonna use my fingers. Um, I got in light. It might be a little light for me, but we're gonna go ahead and try and use it. It is the Sassy and Chic Makeup Foundation. Wow, I look like a ghost. So let me see if I can get this to rub in a little bit better. In person, it doesn't look as bad as it does on camera, trust me. Okay, well that'll have to do. Um, I look a little pale, but everything else they had was too dark. Um, so, oh, wow. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, first I'm going to do my eyebrows and hopefully darken that up a bit. And normally I use a brown eyeshadow, um, but this time I'm using the LA Colors Eyebrow Pencil in dark brown. I don't know that I necessarily need dark brown, but they didn't have light brown. They had dark brown or black. Um, and it does come with two of them, so if it does work, at least I'll have them for a while. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so, yeah, that's bad. Um, I'm going to try and brush it out with this and see if that helps. If not, I'm going to take it off and just use the eyeshadow like I normally do. So, I'm not liking it. Um, we're just going to wipe the eyebrows off. And maybe I'll just go with my natural color this time. Okay, so we're going to go with the natural color on that today. But what I'm going to do now is bronzer. And they didn't have bronzer, so I'm going to use the LA Colors Press Powder in tan because it's a little bit darker, and hopefully that'll help even out the complexion of my face from that light stuff. Now, they give a little sponge with it, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use the contour brush that, come, that I had. Okay, so now that I got that on, I got to blend it out a little bit, and that's actually what I'm going to use the sponge for. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is the blush. Now, they had two color blushes. One was more of a tannish, and one was sweet cheeks, which is very bright, but... I know blush doesn't usually go on me on me as bright as some other people. It comes with this little blush brush, but this is how we do it. So that went on brighter than usual. Oh my. So that's got great pigment in it. That's one thing in this that... Wow. Um, so we'll blend that out. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is the highlighter. Um, this, well, not the last, but next to last. Um, normally I don't do this so close to the end, but we will this time. And I'm actually going to use this white right here. They don't have highlighter there, just like they don't have bronzer. Okay, so the last thing is the lips, and this I was happy about. They actually had um, a elf lip balm tint in grapefruit. 
So we'll go ahead and use that. Okay, and there you have it. Now, as always, you can't really see that well on my videos, so I will post a picture here at the end um, with the final look on it. Um, overall, not impressed. I've used Dollar, make Dollar Tree makeup for a while. I like the eyelashes. They don't look that bad. I did forget mascara. I know I bought mascara, and there it is. Seal. I had it in the wrong place. This is what I'm most worried about. Trying to blend the my lashes into these false lashes. Okay, so the mascara didn't do that great either. I really couldn't blend the lashes that well. But overall, no, I'm not impressed. I've used Dollar Tree makeup before. The eyeliner is not bad. I use the eyeliner all the time. The eyelashes aren't bad, but the, the glue isn't so great. Um, the foundation, way too light. It did help a little bit with the other color, but overall. And the lips, it's e.l.f. You know, e.l.f. is good, and it's only a lip balm tint, so I didn't expect it to be too dark. Um, it is a little sticky, but it tastes good and it smells good, and it does give a nice color to my lips. Those are the goods and bads. Um, everything else was eh, eh, but overall, it wasn't a bad look. Um, um, and that's it for this chapter on Chit Chat, Chris. Talking that blah, blah.